beautiful. So today I thought we would go ahead and do a fall makeup tutorial look. Uh, seeing as summer is almost gone, it's time to start thinking about fall trends and what's going on. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more and we'll get go ahead and get started. I already have some foundation on my face. Um, what we're going to do later is I'm going to um, do the fall makeup look, then I'm going to do another video to review the new uh, Smashbox foundation and soft contour. So let's go ahead and dive in. As you can, like I said, I already have a little bit of foundation on. I didn't contour anything um, and I have my brows on. First, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna obviously do some eye primer with Urban Decay's primer. This is probably my favorite, um, my favorite eye primer. And I'm just gonna like gently tap it and spread it around and make sure it's even everywhere. Next, I'm gonna go and go ahead and use the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Um, I am still in love with this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and with the color Burnt Orange, which is this one right here. And maybe you can see it, there we go. So this color right here, Burnt Orange, and we're gonna go ahead and use that in the crease area. And I'm using the brush that came with the palette. Normally I don't do that. I think I said that in the other video. I normally hate the brushes that come with these palettes, but this one I actually think works really well. So this is gonna be like our transition shade. It's a little bit lighter, and then we're gonna go in with like a couple deeper colors. It's gonna be more of a um, very kind of coppery, leaves turning color and the fall kind of look. And the trick with um, transition shades is you wanna at first apply it into the crease and then you want to keep kind of bringing it more up and up toward the brow so it has like a nice soft uh, ombre look. Next we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with the color Regular, which is this nice orange color right here. You can see, but this time we're going to focus it more in the crease. You can even go a little bit on the eyelid if you feel like it so that we can keep that like nice coppery orange color. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, wing, this color Wings, which is a metallic color from Tarte's uh, Make Believe in Yourself palette. So it's kind of like a coppery metallic color. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger with it. Normally I really like copper colors, but I just don't like this one as much. And I've tried to play with it a little bit. Maybe I just probably need to wet it. No, like, it's not as metallic as I thought it would be, or like as coppery metallic as I would want this to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and top it with the Urban Decay um, Moon Dust. It's like a liquid eyeshadow in the color Solstice. So I'm just gonna apply like a little bit of it. I'm not gonna do like too much, just a couple little dabs. And then I'm gonna go in my finger and just kind of tap it around. Yeah, that's much better, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, with the color Warm Taupe, which is this color right here, and I'm just gonna put it in the crease to kind of um, deepen the eye a little bit. I'm just gonna use like a very little amount. I'm not gonna go in crazy with it. So we want this to be more copper, not brown. And with another fluffy, uh, blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead with this color Tempura, which is like a matte nude color. And just take that and go in to the corner of my eyes to brighten it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and with Primavera, which is kind of like this pretty gold color. And we're gonna put that in the corner of the eye. A little brush like this, or you can even use something like Something like this to go in with it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. And then, as always, I'll be doing wing liner because that's my jam. If you um, get these liquid uh, eyeliners from Kat Bottom D Collection and you feel like it's drying out really quickly, 
Um, it's good to clean the brush, like so I would just take like a towel or a paper towel and I literally will just like kind of uh, clean the brush like that and then the ink flows a lot better that way. So that's just a tip if you feel like why on earth is this drying out so quickly? I just got it a couple of weeks ago. Just like clean the brush and it'll flow back and it'll be like a lot better. So another little trick if you guys mess up on your liquid eyeliner like I did over here, um, if you just get a brush like this, or you can even use like an angle brush, I just use like a flat top head brush, um, use either concealer or uh, makeup remover. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a uh, foundation stick because that's what I have near me. So um, just wipe some product on your brush and then you're basically gonna use this as an eraser to make that sharp point. This, I was fine with this. I always have trouble on this eye for whatever, probably because my arm is reaching across. So, and then you just go ahead and you literally drag it across to erase your mistake into perfection. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and um, we are going to do the burnt orange um, below the eye, uh, nah, on the bottom part of our eye, whatever, you, under the eye, where your eye bags usually are. Kind of do like a sweeping motion underneath. It's amazing. Sometimes you might need to do a little bit of a cleanup, so I'll go in with like a, con or a contouring brush, a concealer brush to kind of clean it up a little bit, the lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush like this um, with a darker eyeshadow color. So I'll probably go in with um, red ochre, which is this very kind of deep uh, wine red color. And I'll do this a little bit closer to the lash line. So just like on the top with your um, eyelids, you want like a soft transition color on the bottom and then go in with like a deeper color. There's this dark color over here. It would just look very harsh and not as uh, soft and well blended. And then we're done with the eyeshadow. So then we're gonna go in with, um, sorry, I'm itch. Okay, so then I'm gonna use um, Urban Decay's Perversion Black Eyeliner. This is probably my favorite black eyeliner. It, it's super black. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the waterline and um, in the upper waterline. Oh, just so you can see the difference, if you put a black, it looks a lot more dramatic versus um, this eye actually has the Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner um, in the waterline. So if you want more of like a day look, then it would probably be um, with this eyeliner in the waterline. If you want a little bit more of like a drama look, which I kind of like to do, um, then you're gonna want to put something darker, like a black or even a deep purple in the waterline. And then I'll also kind of darken up the false lashes as well. This is a fall look that I personally always love. I love copper colors, coppers and golds, especially on brown eyes. I think it really kind of enhances um, the beauty of like chocolate eyes, as I like to call them. Although when I was growing up, people called them poop eyes. All right guys, and remember to always have fun with makeup. It's just plain. And I'll see you next time.